using it. Next step is to show you how to UV map these small devils. It can be a pain in the ass if you have to do it all at once. And this is quite simple to do. So I'm just gonna do it very quickly. I'm gonna select all this. Or actually I'm gonna go to the side view. Oops, front. A top top works up well. So I'm gonna select all this. All this actually. Let me just see what I got. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be one piece. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan a map it. Oh. If I go to window, um, UV text editor, you can see this is all fine. Oops. Two UVs. As you can see, it basically already got two parts because I modeled this from a. Oops, my mice are quite a bit crazy. I modeled this from a cylinder. So that's about you can see uh, okay I can see something is bit wrong the back so let me just go to face then I'll map then it should fit more nicely and it does and I'm gonna unfold it a bit okay maybe it's the wrong way yeah it is so I have to flip it by holding J and scale it and then I can unfold it nicely maybe relax it just a little bit mm. okay I think this is it this is as good as, as as good as it's going to get all right this is the UV map for it I'm not gonna fit it all into one space right now I'm just gonna quickly show you but obviously you want this to be smaller and maybe you want all the screws to have the same texture so you will need the, these screws all to be on the same place in the UV space um, you can also if you want some different ones you can just transfer the UVs and um, move it afterwards delete the history and move it okay so right now I'm gonna delete all by type history and I'm gonna go to mess transfer a transfer attributes option box and I get a whole lot of settings right now so um, I can't really remember what it is but I'm just gonna press UVs I don't think it's that hard so let's just see what happens okay so let me go to your window, you text the editor, I still got UVs, I'm gonna select the screw that I wanted to transfer it to, it doesn't got any, so somewhere I did something wrong, let me just, if you hold over a setting, you can see down in the bottom of the screen, transfer attributes from one surface to another. So it quickly says what it does, and uh, on and on. Maybe this will do. After this, move it on top. I don't want that. Low component, I think maybe. Oh, not the uh, off off. UV sets all. Um. I 
I'm just trying to figure this out. It's been a while since ah that was okay. So you can see it didn't really work totally. So maybe I have to change some setting. But it's really useful when you, for example, are doing a hand or something. Um, and you forgot to duplicate it or something. All in all, what is that? Let me, see. Let me just go back a bit. Okay. Is anything going to happen? I don't know. Um, ignore. Okay. So I'm not really sure why it uh, fucks a bit up, but this is the way to do it. But you can see sometimes it doesn't really work the way out the way you want it to. Um, and I'm not really sure how come that is. But uh, maybe you can do local. Ah, okay. Yeah, now it works. It was because I was measuring sample space. I was measuring out of the local uh, coordinates. And maybe something got uh, twisted when I delete the history or when I froze transformations or anything so if I was measuring out from UVs it would fuck it up so I had to choose local or maybe I think actually let me just try if I use world it works and what about component works typology works cool so <laughs> I was just on the wrong so now it works on that so I can just click this click this press G click this click this press G this this G and now I basically got the UVs for all of them Or maybe not. Ah, fuck. World. Ugh, it didn't work. <laughs> okay. I have to use typology. So I'm just gonna do it again. Just because. I'm tired and I screwed up, but uh, uh, actually I forgot to tell a story about this, because I was modeling uh, this bicycle and I was a bit in doubt on how it would move, because this piece is going to this, the front piece is going to the body piece, and that is very weird, so I was thinking like, how does this actually move? I didn't have a clue about it, but um, in the weekend one of my uh, friends called me and he said Hey, can you uh, go to the school and get the key for me because I'm moving there this weekend And uh, I can't really get it because I'm coming on the Saturday And I said, yeah, sure He came to my house and he had this big trailer filled up with all his furniture He didn't have anybody to help him So I said, Michael, maybe I should uh, help you move all your stuff and it was totally cool with him so we started moving and he was moving into this very cool apartment uh, he's pacing a less than I do and it's he got his own uh, veranda I think it's called a terrace anyway on the top floor where he lives there was actually a child who has exact same bicycle as this one and I was like oh my god this is Scott telling me <laughs> that I should uh, 
look at it and God is telling me that I really should model this because he's giving me the best reference and that's the li li live model so I was like checking it out moving it from side to side and seeing how it works and it can actually move direction this st uh, steer or handles can move um, anyway <laughs> afterwards I was thinking uh, it was a good thing that nobody saw me because I was checking out this little boy's bike and I didn't know who it was so maybe they were thinking that I was going to steal it um, anyway back to the tutorial if I go to the UV space I can actually change this Oops. if I change it okay in the old Maya it changed it for all of them but uh, just in case we will delete the history on all the objects so I go to edit delete all by type history and uh, that's uh, basically this tutorial um, I showed you how to UV map the body of the bike by using automatic mapping how you could uh, UV map the tire and how to copy paste your UV maps so that's basically it I hope you enjoyed it let me know if you got any feedback the email is on the screen right now you can just pop an email with the and say this was bad and this was cool or stuff like that um, and if you got any requests for tutorials also send me an email talk to you soon bye